Hi, I'm Hussein Abbas and I'm found online as Hussein Web in many places. Today I want to quickly cover a new feature in GitHub which was released a day or two back. GitHub now lets you add custom content to your profile page. I first heard about this last weekend through a tweet but it didn't work for me at that time. I heard from another tweet that it has gone live and I started trying it out. It's really quick to set up and it should only take about a minute or two. The process is very simple. It's just three steps. One, create a repository with the same name as your GitHub login name. In my case, it is Hussein Web. Two, create a readme.md file in that repository. And three, enable that feature from the repositories page. So let's get started. Here's my GitHub profile. And I'm going to use this link to create a new repository. And I'm going to call this the same as my GitHub login name. That's Hussein Web. And over here it tells me that I found a secret that Hussein Web slash Hussein Web is, is a special repository. It's not really a secret anymore. And anyway, the only thing I, I need to do is make sure it's public and initialize it with the readme to get started. I'm not going to do that over here. I'm going to create the repository from the files I already have. So I'm just going to click create repository over here. So let it do that. And it's empty. I'm just going to copy the the SSH remote URL from over here. I'm going to go to VS Code where I have this, uh, where I have my files open and um, it's already there. It, it has few images and icons. I'm going to quickly initialize a Git repository over here. And one of the things I like to do is have an empty commit at the beginning in case I need to rebase. Mostly I don't need this, but just in case I need it sometime, it, it, it's become a habit, you know, an, an empty initial commit always. So I have that and I'm going to rename the branch to main. Uh, the reason is that I'm going to refer to all the images and icons in my readme file with their absolute path and they are main right now. So I need to uh, make sure that I push it with the branch name main. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, the next thing is, of course, I have to add my remote. Um, so this is an empty repository. I need to add the remote and that's done. And I'm going to push the branch. I'm going to say dash u, which says, uh, the, you know, track the upstream branch. Uh, like it says, okay, branch main set up to track remote branch main from origin. All right, so let's verify. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. And yeah, we see an empty repository. There's nothing there now, but now I see a notice that it's a special repository. It will appear on your public profile. I don't need to do anything else over here right now, but in case you had this repository from beginning, uh, you know, from before this feature was available, you would have a link over here to enable the feature. But since we created the repository, the feature is already enabled. So we're going to add all of our files now. I'm going to commit it with some message that, okay, add readme on all the images. I'm going to push that very quickly. So that's done. So let's see what happened. All right, so I see my readme file and the images and everything. Uh, the branch main has been set to default. You know, that's the first branch I pushed. So I think it had set it to the default. But you see the images are broken. And the reason is, well, in short, the reason is that it's probably a bug. But GitHub profile, you know, when I'm looking at this readme file on GitHub profile, the images, if, if the images would work over here, you know, the conventionally you would uh, put in a relative path to your repository. So let's see that. I'm just going to quickly edit this file over here. Um, just one or two of these, I'm going to change the URL to what it should be in a typical repository. So I'm just going to change this. You know, this, this is how the path should be regularly. And I'm going to preview and you can see the images working there, right? Yeah, but so this would be the normal case, but uh, there is a bug over here. And if I if I would commit it with that, those parts, it would not work on the profile page. And uh, like I said, it's probably a bug. And I've already reported this to GitHub, you know, by sending a feedback. But uh, I need to put an absolute URL or at least a relative URL from github.com. So, uh, you know, so that these images and these icons work. So now you can see that the profile and the images and the icons, they work. It, GitHub would probably fix this soon enough, you know. I mean, by the time you see this video, this problem would be there and you'd probably be using relative paths like you normally would. But right now, 
this is a workaround and you know I'll, I'll keep an eye out for this you know once github fix this fixes this i'm going to update this readme to fix all the paths and uh, as you can see now this uh, readme file appears on my repository and it's important that it's not it's not very long in fact i have a longer readme and i've linked it from here this is something that i've been doing from quite some time i have this readme and i also have a manager readme and uh, you can search it up right now but i might probably create a video for this later on but uh, yeah uh, i can't put such a long readme file on the profile page right so this is just like a short snippet of you know wh wh who i am the technologies i work with you know quick links to my social media so like you can click on this to go to my twitter page again which is hussein web like i said it's pretty much hussein web everywhere and that's it we have this nice profile pages enabled thank you for watching this video i hope it was useful if you liked it please like and subscribe to the youtube channel and have a good day bye